Rome is an important center for music, and it has an intense musical scene, including several prestigious music conservatories and theaters. It hosts the Accademia Nazionale di Santa Cecilia, for which new concert halls have been built in the new Parco della Musica, one of the largest musical venues in the world. Rome also has an opera house, the Teatro dell'Opera di Roma, as well as several minor musical institutions. The city also played host to the Eurovision Song Contest in 1991 and the MTV Europe Music Awards in 2004. Rome has also had a major impact in music history. The Roman School was a group of composers of predominantly church music, which were active in the city during the 16th and 17th centuries, therefore spanning the late Renaissance and early Baroque eras. The term also refers to the music they produced. Many of the composers had a direct connection to the Vatican and the Papal Chapel, though they worked at several churches, stylistically they are often contrasted with the Venetian school of composers, a concurrent movement which was much more progressive. By far the most famous composer of the Roman school is Giovanni Pierluigi de Palestrina, whose name has been associated for 400 years with smooth, clear, polyphonic perfection. However, there were other composers working in Rome, and in a variety of styles and forms. Rome is also widely recognized as a world fashion capital. Although not as important as Milan, Rome is the fourth most important center for fashion in the world, according to the 2009 Global Language Monitor after Milan New York, and Paris, and beating London. Major luxury fashion houses and jewelry chains, such as Valentino, Bulgari, Fendi, Laura Biagiotti, Brioni, and Renato Balestra, are headquartered or were founded in the city. Also, other major labels, such as Chanel, Prada, Dolce, and Gabbana, Armani, and Versace have luxury boutiques in Rome, primarily along its prestigious and upscale Via dei Condotti. Rome's cuisine has evolved through centuries and periods of social, cultural, and political changes. Rome became a major gastronomical center during the ancient age. Ancient Roman cuisine was highly influenced by ancient Greek culture, and after, the empire's enormous expansion exposed Romans to many new, provincial culinary habits and cooking techniques. Later, during the Renaissance, Rome became well known as a center of high cuisine, since some of the best chefs of the time worked for the popes. An example of this was Bartolomeo Scappi, who was a chef working for Pius IV in the Vatican kitchen, and he acquired fame in 1570 when his cookbook Opera dell'Arte del Cusinere was published. In the book he lists approximately 1,000 recipes of the Renaissance cuisine and describes cooking techniques and tools, giving the first known picture of a fork. In the modern age, the city developed its own peculiar cuisine, based on products of the nearby Campania, as lamb and vegetables. In parallel, Roman Jews, present in the city since the 1st century BC, developed their own cuisine, the Cucina Giudaico Romanesca. Examples of Roman dishes include saltimbacca alla Romana, a veal cutlet, Roman style, topped with raw ham and sage and simmered with white wine and butter, carciofi alla Romana, artichokes Roman style, outer leaves removed, stuffed with mint, garlic, breadcrumbs and braised, carciofi alla giudia, artichokes fried in olive oil, typical of Roman Jewish cooking, outer leaves removed, stuffed with mint, garlic, breadcrumbs and braised, spaghetti alla carbonara, spaghetti with bacon, eggs and pecorino, and gnocchi di semolino alla romana, semolina dumpling, Roman style, to name but a few. Rome hosts the Cinecita Studios, the largest film and television production facility in continental Europe and the center of the Italian cinema, where many of today's biggest box office hits are filmed. The 99-acre studio complex is 9.0 kilometers from the center of Rome and is part of one of the biggest production communities in the world, second only to Hollywood, with well over 5,000 professionals, from period costume makers to visual effects specialists. More than 3,000 productions have been made on its lot, from recent features like The Passion of the Christ, Gangs of New York, HBO's Rome, The Life Aquatic and Dino De Laurentiis Decameron, to such cinema classics as Ben-Hur, Cleopatra, and the films of Federico Fellini. Founded in 1937 by Benito Mussolini, the studios were bombed by the Western Allies during the Second World War. In the 1950s, Cinecita was the filming location for several large American film productions, and subsequently became the studio most closely associated with Federico Fellini. Today, Cinecita is the only studio in the world with pre production, production, and full post production facilities on one lot 
allowing directors and producers to walk in with their script and walk out with a completed film. Although associated today only with Latin, ancient Rome was in fact multilingual. In highest antiquity, Sabine tribes shared the area of what is today Rome with Latin tribes. The Sabine language was one of the Italic group of ancient Italian languages, along with Etruscan, which would have been the main language of the last three kings who ruled the city till the founding of the Republic in 509 BC. However Latin, in various evolving forms, was the main language of classical Rome, but as the city had immigrants, slaves, residents, ambassadors from many parts of the world it was also multilingual. Many educated Romans also spoke Greek, and there was a large Greek, Syriac and Jewish population in parts of Rome from well before the empire. Latin evolved during the Middle Ages into a new language, the Volgar. The latter emerged as the confluence of various regional dialects, among which the Tuscan dialect predominated, but the population of Rome also developed its own dialect, the Romanesco. The Romanesco spoken during the Middle Ages was more like a southern Italian dialect, very close to the Neapolitan language in Campania. This remained largely confined to Rome until the 19th century, but then expanded to other zones of Lazio, from the beginning of the 20th century, thanks to the rising population of Rome and to improving transportation systems. Moreover, also modern English, because of the Norman conquest, borrowed a large percentage of its vocabulary from the Latin language. The Roman or Latin alphabet is the most widely used writing system in the world used by the greatest number of languages. Rome has long hosted artistic communities, foreign resident communities and many foreign religious students or pilgrims and so has always been a multilingual city. Today because of mass tourism, many languages are used in servicing tourism, especially English which is widely known in tourist areas, and the city hosts large numbers of immigrants and so has many multilingual immigrant areas.